Vegas.com. Good afternoon. Let's get right to the big story on our homepage. The Las Vegas Police Union wants an apology from Seahawks star Michael Bennett after Bennett accused officers of threatening to kill him and using excessive force to detain him after a shooting was reported on the Vegas Strip. In this new video, the sheriff says Bennett was acting suspiciously when he ran toward the exit as officers told people to stay down. The sheriff says that's why officers chased after him and detained him, not because of his race. However, the video also shows Bennett wasn't the only person running out of the casino at the time. The sheriff said he hasn't found any evidence the officer who detained Bennett threatened to kill him. He was asked, though, about whether that would be a policy violation. Here's, here's what's important. It's a critical incident, dynamic incident. If the officer said it, he said it. If he did, he didn't. He was taking an individual who we believe to be an active shooter into custody. And the language associated with that may not be acceptable, but it's not a policy violation. We're waiting to see if Bennett or his lawyers respond to all of this today. If they do, we'll let you know. <laughs> New at 5, Las Vegas police go frame by frame to defend their officers with new body cam video of the night they detained Michael Bennett. The department says today that it is delivering on its promise of a thorough investigation after the Seattle Seahawks defensive end accused officers of singling him out because he's black. And they say this new video backs up their claim that their officers were justified in picking Bennett out of the crowd. I'm responding because of the allegations that Mr. Bennett made. I am not here to disparage him. With his department thrust into the national spotlight, Las Vegas Sheriff Joseph Lombardo took to the podium today to clear the air about the August 26th incident that ended with Michael Bennett in handcuffs. Police reviewed 861 videos to piece together the events as they unfolded, starting with Bennett as he entered the Cromwell Casino through a VIP line. Soon after, a fight erupted. Then police say a second fight, out of view of the cameras, knocked metal support posts to the tile floor. Thinking they were gunshots, the sound sent people diving to the ground. As police sweep the casino floor looking for a shooting, at least three people are seen running right past officers before Bennett comes into frame. You'll see Mr. Bennett appear in a crouched stance and proceed to the rear of the uh, slot machine there. Police say something about his movements caused them to zero in on him. His movements and actions were different than other patrons. Officers chased Bennett outside and into handcuffs, and that's when Bennett claims an officer pointed a gun at his head and threatened to blow it off. From the evidence we know at this point, we determined he had not said that. Here's what's important. It's a critical incident, dynamic incident. If the officer said it, he said it. If he did, he didn't. He was taking an individual who we believe to be an active shooter into custody. And the language associated with that may not be acceptable, but it's not a policy violation. After seven minutes in the back of a police car, officers released Bennett with an explanation and a handshake. Hey, it's unfortunate, but we have to do it. Now, we just heard back from Michael Bennett's lawyer. He told us they do not think that Michael acted in any way suspicious and that the video showed what Michael described. Las Vegas police say they received an electronic complaint from Bennett's attorney this week. Police detained two other people during that incident. One was a Hispanic man. The other was black.